Hello guys, I'm Cat Max. Um, oh, I can't talk this much today. I had braces put in. Um, anyway, I'm going to continue off where I left off. Um, mich we're now going to Mission 8, Project Nova. Interesting plot story. And of course, I always go with some intel locations. We know that Jason Hudson briefed you on the intel extracted from Dr. Clark Gallo. Hudson said that Clark was insane. Paranoid. Fixated with numbers. Clark created Nova 6. A nerve toxin that can rupt your body in seconds. Dragovich is second in command. Kravchenko tested in Vietnam. On them? On us? On his own? He doesn't care. Fukuda. Reznov told me at Fukuda. What did he do? Mason, listen to me. It was a long time ago. Far away. Dragovich, Stein, Kravchenko, all must die. But he told me what they did, what kind of men they were, why they all must die. So these are the points following up after the Battle of Berlin, in case nobody figured that out, but it's kind of obvious. To my countrymen, it was a symbol of hope. To the Germans, it was a symbol of violence. Even now, it means The Nazis slit his throat twice. Collaborating with any Nazi is a betrayal, a betrayal against all of Mother Russia. Dragovich, Krushenko are not troubled by such matters. They look only to advance their own interests and agendas. Transmission 23A15, designate X-ray. The Soviets have launched Operation Olympus at the end of the war. Third Track Army Special Operations sent to Arctic Circle. Victor Reznov attached to Unit 45, last known alias, alias The Wolf. Waiting. Something hours, October 29th, 1945. Yes, Dimitri. Time to hunt down the last remnants of the fascist right. Yes, get up here. They're moving out. The men and I have fought through the most bitter of winters on the Eastern Front. We were known strangers to cold, but even now, the blood in my veins chills when I think back to the events of that day, far, far from home. All right, before I start off, I'm going to tell you, for those who don't know, um, in World at War, you played as this person, Private Dmitry Pachenko. Um, this is Private Nevisky. No, this is Nevisky. I think this is Vikarev. Or, of course, uh, Major General Nikita Dragovich, Colonel Lev Krepchenko, and as it turns out, his, um, I can't remember if it's his cousin or his brother, let's just say his relative, um, after the events in Doris, attacked Doris, like stormed it. I don't know what happened afterwards, but anyway, I'm going to start. Ah, the hero of Berlin graces us with his presence. Are you not tired of battle with him? As long as Mother Russia has enemies, I will answer her call. Put aside your petty rivalry, Kravchenko. I got promoted to captain. Captain Reznov will do as he is told. We are here for one German, and one German only, Dr. Friedrich Steiner. This man has offered his cooperation to our cause. He is not to be harmed. Obey this order, and you will be shot. Jeez. Another disadvantage to the Soviet Union. 
first I'm gonna let you take one step back in the Battle of Stalingrad. What happened in Stalingrad between you and Dragonich? When the German occupation began, he and his laptop, Trajanko, left my men and I hopelessly outnumbered. Oh, wow, another glitch. Postments were made. Made. But not yet. Dragovich and Trajanko are opportunists. Manipulated. They are not to be trusted with me. Okay, so the whole reinforcements thing that Resna was talking about was the reason how, this was how he first met Petrenko, because Petrenko, I'm get my, th my theory is that Petrenko's team was sent in to go help um, Reznov's, but they were already massacred at the area, and they were the only two that survived. The German must not be harmed! We need Steiner alive! Now move! All of you! Let's go! It is good to fight for your side this morning. Yes. One final victory. All right, so we're either in, I think we're in northern, we're like somewhere in Can near Canada before it shows in the map. It is somewhere in the Arctic Circle, though. The Wehrmacht must die! Oh, I missed him. Oh, where'd you come from? Ah, oh, they burn! He should be dead! Oh, I'm not sure I like this. No, I let him go. I'm not like those dudes. Oh, whoops, I didn't know he was surrendering. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable doing this cuz they're no longer well, they're Nazis, but their order has already been destroyed like a month. No, several months actually. But I don't know why they're still fighting. So, uh, this is like the Cold War now. All right. Like, the Cold War didn't officially start until 1947, but I consider it uh, started right after. Because this um, storyline is basically all about the Cold War. Alright, we're getting close to the first piece of intel. Oh, shoot, where's that? Oh, God! Ah! I'm gonna die. Damn it. So this is like a month after World War II ended. Because it's October 29th and it ended September 2nd after the two nukes went. Drop. Die alright. I shot right at you! Yeah, that's right. Seriously, you get me every time. Just die already! Okay, there's the first piece of intel is actually upstairs in this building that you check. I'm trying to conserve ammo. I don't want to make it look like a maneuver. Okay, first piece of intel. And then this is what I was saying. We're in the Arctic Circle somewhere. 
that's where we are. Alright, I'm almost gonna end, the, end it here. Oh shoot, come on. Ow! Oh, where did you come from? Oh no. Okay, second piece of intel. Alright. I'm only gonna go like maybe one more minute. No! Do you think we will go home? No. Hurrah! This is for all the bloodshed. You caught the night people, my comrades. You will die in this wretched place. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa, No, never mind. I guess I'll die. Yeah, uh, maybe I should upgrade weapons now. Oh. I don't get why this thing's bugged up, like, bugged with my thing, but, anyway, I'm gonna end it here, um, hopefully uh, the next part will also upload.